the gang i'm back with another video as you can tell by the title of this video this is what i'm about to be giving y'all so let's just you know get into the video shall we i gotta tell y'all this because it doesn't make no sense to me and i want to know does this make sense to y'all so not trying to bash nobody or nothing like that but i just want to know y'all input and y'all let me know down in the comment section down below but first i want to say Hi Crazy Gang, I'm back. I'm doing a lot better. And I want y'all to subscribe to the post notifications, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to go down in the description box down below so you can follow all my social media. And I finally put my Twitch up, y'all. I got all the links y'all need to know down in the description box. So make sure y'all stay alert on all the social media when I post. So, and I recently just posted a picture today, so go like on IG, okay? So, yeah, so let's just get into the story real quick, because it's crazy, and it doesn't make sense. Okay, crazy game. So, I'm going to try to make this story time not too long, but this is the craziest thing I ever heard in my life. All my years of working, y'all, I never heard this before. So, let me know if I'm crazy down below. So, one day I'm at work, right? This kind of like recently happened at work. So, tell me why. Okay, first, everybody's a cashier. Okay, I work with the cashier at the front. So, yeah, I'm not no cashier lead. I'm not no manager. I'm not none of that. Just regular cashier, y'all. So, some of the people I work, at, work with is a cashier lead, and some are just regular cashiers. So, most people I know is mainly like cashier lead. Well, the, the closest people I'm really closest with is cashier lead and a few other cashiers so um the cashier lead i'm talking about and one of the cashiers i know we're gonna just start calling them by letters so the cashier lead i know that's starting this bull crap with me and other people at the job we're gonna call him t okay and the other cashier i know that's just a regular cashier we're gonna call him q and I'm also include the managers too, two managers, and one other cashier lead as well because I'm cool with the other cashier lead too. Now T, I'm not cool with the cat that cashier lead because he starts too much. So it's another one I'm cool with, which is we're gonna call her B. So B is a cashier lead too. She just got that position. She's cool. I mess with her. She's my dog. That's my dog. And Q, he my dog too. So. So let me know if I'm crazy, y'all, or am I wrong, but let me know if this makes sense. So one day at work, right, I was working with Q and B and T, right? So B, I think, I think she was standing there, but I think she went to the back to go to the bathroom, whatever. So it's Q, me, and T now. So T decides to come around all into the registers, and I guess he was um, trying to clean up and pull trash and stuff like that. So I'm at my register talking to Q. Okay, Q is a guy as well. So I'm talking to Q. He talking to me. We chit chatting. Then that's when T comes around. And he's like, "Okay, everybody, give me trash and spray bottles and stuff like that because we're supposed to be cleaning all our registers out that day." So, um, yeah. So. T proceeds to pick with Q or whatever, and I'm standing right there, and I'm just watching and listening like, okay, y'all is crazy. Like, I'm laughing at them, and I'm bringing up people at the same time. So, after I finish with one customer or whatever, I'm listening to them, and I'm like, okay, here goes my trash, stuff like that, giving it to T. So, I'm still hearing T and Q going back and forth. I guess they cracking jokes and all that, whatever, whatever. So, we're around y'all. It's a few people at this job that's a cashier. They don't really mess with T because T be doing too much. Ever since T got that cashier lead position, he been acting real fake to everybody. Don't know why, including me, but don't know why. Mm -hmm. So, I think B had came back or whatever to the front. I don't know what she was doing. I forgot what she was doing. So Q and T are going back and forth while I'm listening. So Q proceeds to tell T that you are a cashier. You know that, right? Because T says something to Q some slick shit. I don't know what T really said verbatim, 
but I know it kind of made Q mad. So Q came at him with that, and then T started complaining and talking about some I can write y'all love this thing the third. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, no, you kidnapped. Why is you lying like that? Like just joking around with them. So I'm thinking they're joking the whole time. They're dead ass. So I'm telling, I'm telling T like you cannot write nobody up. You was not no manager. Stop it. And Q, he was like, told you. I know you was a cashier. We all know you a cashier and stuff like that. And Q was just like, ain't that right, Asia? And I'm like, yes, that's that's right. Like it's in his job description. Like that's what you do, right? In my head, I'm saying that, but to Q, I'm like, yeah, he's a cashier, just like everybody else. What's the problem? So I guess after that had went on or whatever. I went back to my register and started ringing up again because at that moment I ain't had nobody. So I started going back, ringing up people and stuff like that. And B, my homegirl, she's on the register too and she's ringing up people too. So then, and then Q, he ringing up people too. So everybody's doing back their job right now, ringing up people. So out of nowhere, T disappears after getting trash and stuff like that from everybody's register. He disappears, right? He's nowhere on the register helping us or nowhere at customer service because he be he supposed to be at customer service helping people at customer service so he's in the office one minute he comes out he's helping a little bit or whatever remind y'all he does not do his work for a t is lazy nobody don't really like him because he does not know how to do his job properly as a cashier lead so yeah he messed up with a lot of people at the front so because the people that works in the back they don't hear any of this drama like that for real so the people in the back, they stay in the back that unloads the truck that puts the stuff out, stuff like that. Stock. So T out of nowhere pulls Q to a side to one of the managers that work that work there. So this manager is a lady now. It's a lady that works in the back. So I see T and Q back there talking to the manager at customer service. I'm like, okay, that's weird. Cause why is the manager up here the manager don't never come up here unless help is needed so you know i'm missing out i'm just ringing up people ringing up people bringing up people and b she peeps that too so we're all just doing that part da, 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 da. so then after that q comes back to his register he brings up people and stuff like that and then t decides to come to me a few minutes later he tells some uh can i see you at customer service and he turns my light off and i'm like okay i wanted to say for what but okay so i realized i was like he pulling me into the side for the re for a reason so i'm like okay turn my light off finish with my last customer i'll go back to customer service where the manager was at and that's where t standing at so t decides to say some dumb shit type of some asia i just felt disrespected because y'all kept calling me a cashier and I just I just felt disrespected like he got like a sus in him like he turned to a straight sus and I'm like why are you pulling me to the side for something I did not even start or mention like what like I never heard nobody get pulled over for being called a cashier like what is wrong with you like do you not know what job you work at do you not know your position that's in your title of job position you know that right so I'm standing there listening to him like, like what are you talking about why are you in your feelings I'm saying that in my head but I'm standing there with a straight face because like at this point the manager the lady she's talking to me now at this point she's she's just saying like okay um I know he feel disrespected and stuff like that trying to stick up the teeth she's like you know we she's going down who's the head of who and stuff like that and who plays their role da 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 and he he put, put, he proceeds to tell the manager in front of my face that I do my job sometimes. I said correction. I do my I do my job all the time. Even when Q is not here or anybody else I'm cool with in here, I do my job every time I come in here because this is what I signed up for. I'm gonna come here and do my job, get my money, and I'm gonna get out. Point blank period. So he told the manager I do my job sometimes. I said if that was the case. I would not have my job right now. I would have been got rolled up. I said the only complaint I got in here was from being on my phone. Everything else, spot on. Know what I'm doing. From head to toe, I know what I'm doing. So for him to tell the manager that I do my job sometimes, I feel disrespected now. Because that's so 
real valid reason to be feeling like this being disrespected on. I never disrespected you. So for you to try to disrespect me saying you being disrespected when you're having the wrong talk with this person, which is you having the wrong talk with this person, which is me. Like, why are you talking to me about this when you should be having this conversation with Q? Because you was just going back and forth with Q. All I did was agree with you. That's all I did. Okay? So, I'm like, why is you getting mad because you got called the cashier? Y'all, out of all my years of working at any store, any grocery store, or whatever, I never heard somebody complain about being a cashier. Being called a cashier. Knowing it's in your job description as a cashier. Because you're supposed to come out and help us on the register when needed. Like, do you not know what you signed up for? What you signed up for? Like, what? So, yeah, y'all. I got pulled over to a manager over some dumb, sensitive-ish. I'm trying not to curse so much. So, like, y'all, please let me know if I'm tripping or not. Because who complains about being a cashier or being called a cashier? Like, I don't even get that sensitive as being called a cashier. Because I knew what I signed up for when I started working here. So please let me know down in the comment section in my trip room. But that's a story time for y'all. What, what's been going on at work. So I don't mess with T. Because he's too sensitive. And he try to act like he's somebody boss. When he's really not. Hold on period. He's so big headed. And got too beside himself when he became a cashier, cashier lead. I feel like the managers in there. They need to fix that. Because he's going to run cashiers away. Okay, because he's doing way too much. As a boy, you're doing way too much. Like, calm down. You do not run nothing in here. Don't forget, you work here too now. Like, what are you doing here? Like, stop playing like you're the manager role and whole time you're not. But yeah, so, B, I told B what happened. She was like, that's crazy. I was like, yeah, I know, right? That's crazy. And then Q was like, yeah, I'm not messing with him no more because he killed my whole vibe today and everything was good before he came here. I said, I know, right? I told Q that. I was like, yeah, I know. Everything was cool and dandy until he got in here. So, yeah, y'all. So, me and B decided to tell the other manager um, that's the head of the store what happened and what T did to us at work. And, yeah, we told him because, no, you never really treat us like we're ish and you're just the good guy like no because you don't even do no work here either so what is your problem so yeah we told the other manager because if we didn't i would have passed and lost my job because ain't nobody checking so me and being went to the other manager and we told on him and that we felt like he needed to lose his position because he getting out of character and he wants somebody to listen to him and respect him, but you can't even respect nobody in the store. And you want to be all in your feelings. Like, no. So, yeah. My bad, y'all. If you hear something in the background, that's my brother and nephew. So, yeah, y'all. Um, And my niece. So, yeah, y'all. Please tell me. Does that make any sense? But that's a story time for y'all. This is what happens when you work with slow people. Slow, sensitive people. Okay? Because it doesn't make no sense. It doesn't make no sense. I hate to talk about people, but this this was really tea. Like, this happened in real life. So, this story time is not fake. True story. I just want to know your opinion down in the comment section. So, I want to end it off with, I'm not cool with tea because he do too much. And I'm going to still do me at my own job because I know what I'm doing. Both of the managers is sick of him at this point. So, hopefully, he loses his little position because he been started a lot of ish at the job lately with other people that work there and some gotta give okay that's all i gotta say so i want to end this video with saying i love y'all crazy game i'll post more often i'm trying and yeah i just want to put this out here just to give y'all some juicy story time because i feel like that was crazy to me so yeah but I love y'all crazy gang. I want y'all to subscribe to the post notifications, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to go down in the description box and follow all my social media down below so you can stay alert when I post on my channel and on my social media. And I love y'all crazy gang. So stay tuned for another video.